you're a big flamingo. Hello, everybody, and welcome to Hypna Gogia, Boundless Dreams. Welcome back. Where we last left off, we had gone to a dream of mushrooms and tsundere rock. I was going to say girlfriends, but she, we got married, so rock wives? Literally made of rock. I cannot express how rock she was. But with that in mind, let us continue where we left off. We were about to go into the next dream, which was it looking pretty cold. Where is it? Oh, there it is. And we don't get to see Mufasa bird this time. I'm sorry, everybody. Oh. Oh. Look at that. But then this makes me think it's post-apocalyptic, so. Uh, nuclear winter? It's cold. Act of kindness. In this nu uh, win nuclear winter? Uh. Hey, Goji, or the corpse of Goji being puppeted by some hell beast. Brr, this place sure looks like it's seen better days. I definitely wouldn't want to live here. One thing's for sure, it's super cold, so I hope you brought a big coat. It makes me want a big hot mug of my favorite chocolate beverage. Oh well, you have to go and get that precious shard, so don't go getting frostbite and dying on me now. <laughs> Have fun! Okay, so outside of his appearance and his definitely not Goji from the first game demeanor, he's not particularly evil yet. I mean, obviously he looks evil, and he's clearly someone wearing the skin of my friend, but he himself has done nothing yet to me. Hope that makes sense. Oh, oh, I didn't jump correctly. <laughs> wow. So, um, the last stream I did, the Zelda one, I think that one was added via an update. Uh, because I saw that they had an update that, um, added a level that, quote, had a lot of... Uh, gameplay, and I think, and the Zelda one definitely had more gameplay than a normal level. So that makes me wonder if I'm covering levels that other people haven't played before. You know what I mean? Like, if you played this when it first came out, is this new content? What's going on with with wind way up here? The intense drafts must be making their situation worse. How are are you not c cold? I'm not physical, I think. I'm gonna give you a hug. You give them- you give the freezing fella a warm hug. Oh, that's so kind of you. I feel much warmer now. Th thank you, stranger. Did we just start a fire? You should get yourself a good coat on days like this. We have to make our own, but I'm sure you can manage somehow. There may be more of us freezing folks to help out there. I have a goal. Yeah. Wait a minute, that looks explosive. <laughs> okay, so we need to go and hug everybody. Which, you know, I would say something about, like, germs or something. I just realized the lights are on, right? So are these, like, hobos? Am I hugging hobos? Is that what's happening? Or... Hmm. Um, there's some kind of squeaky red ball half buried in the snow. A kid's toy, maybe? You have no reason to mess with it, so you leave it alone. Remembering that for later? That's clearly something. <coughs> it, it seems someone's trying to talk to me. No time to talk. Walking keeps my mind busy. Gotta just focus on walking. Good exercise. Sorry, I gotta go. <coughs> Dang. Oh. 
Now hold up. How the fuck did that happen? <laughs> Wait a minute. <laughs> so these do appear to be... Oh, there's just no interior at all. Huh. I remember riding to work every day like it was normal. Like what everyone else did. Just doing what we always do. But now, the one and only thing keeping me going is hoping we'll see the sun again one day. I've got plenty of warm fire to hold me over until then. I just don't know if it'll be enough. I know how much others may be in need, so feel free to keep yourself warm here anytime. Can I give you a hug? Huh. Writing to work every day, huh? Can I take the walking guy to the guy with extra fire? Or, um... Oh. Aw, oh, shit, he did. Hello? Oh, dude. <clears throat> They're shivering despite their numerous layers of clothing. Uh, hug them in their sleep. That's not weird. Give them a freezing fella a hug. Hmm? Oh, that's very kind of you. No, it's not. I feel much better now. Thank you, stranger. Do not hug random people! I think I'll just rest here a little longer. Hopefully the snow drifts slowed down a bit today. There may be more of us freezing folks to help out there. Uh, first of all, you might want to move this away from the ice wall. I feel like the water would eventually put it out, but I live in a place that's hotter than shit, so... Hold up. Hold up. Wait a second. No way. Is a shard in there? Uh. Huh. It's gonna be like, we'll do things and then it'll be obviously... Like, it'll come down from there or something. Again, how did that happen? <laughs> Is this frozen? Yeah, for the most part. Is this safe? Hi there, wanderer. Don't pay me no never mind. Just doing a little fishing. You're dressed pretty light given the weather. What's on your mind? I'm cold. Oh, you'll get used to it. We're a species with surprising resilience. I'm not the same species, though. So I'm sure you are, too. Just don't think about it too much. Between you and me, I don't mind it. Even maybe like it a little. I mean, if I get too cold, I just bundle up more. Too hot and I lighten up. Can't really do that with the, when the weather is scorching from the start, you know? Silver linings and all that. True that. I actually really like getting warm after being cold. Um, my body's built for the cold genetically. I don't even sweat correctly. Um, that's how built for the cold I am. So, when I, uh... I actually really like, you know, when I get super cold, I can do more things. My body doesn't overheat as fast, which is a real problem for me. Um, my body produces a lot of heat. I get night fevers pretty much every night, etc., etc. Um, and so when it's cold, that's not a problem all of a sudden. Um, so I have more energy. I can do more. I can be more active and so on and so forth without having to worry about overheating and stuff. So what I love to do is exert myself doing things in the cold. Even if it's just working out, just in the cold feels great. And then I like warming up afterwards. That's that's a great feeling. Anyway, what was I saying? <laughs> uh, fishing. That's right, now I know what you're thinking. Surely the fish under here would be all turned into ice cubes by now. That's not quite how it works, I don't think. Well, there's just no way to really know. To know, really. This pond froze over years ago. It's probably a mile of ice beneath us. As far as I'm concerned, there are fish down there. All I need is patience. Lots of patience. I won't let the cold put me down. Anything else on your mind? Nope. Alrighty then. Keep yourself bundled up now, you hear? I'll be hanging around if you want to talk. Hmm. Oh. Oh, I can't go down. Damn it. I thought this would be a secret. Hey there, Honor. Don't pay me no never mind. You gone fishing. Oh, no, don't worry about it. Hmm. Oh, dang. What's up? 
I'm so cold. No, it's fine. They look like they're on the brink of hypothermia. You give the freezing fellow a warm hug. Oh, that's very kind of you. It's always nice to feel cared for. Thank you, stranger. Mo over there has been on my case lately, saying I should be the used to the cold by now. I'll tell you, it's harder than it looks. There may be more of us freezing folks to help out there. Hey, Mo, You need a hug? Oh, God, you look awful. Hey, what's happening? This spot gotten a bit warmer since I nestled into it. That guy over there has been around here longer than me, and he's still not used to the cold. Crazy. I guess some people just never get used to it. Want a hug? Okay. Okay, so I don't think that first one was the shard because multiple lights are lit up. Well, um, so I guess that's just how they're doing the lights in this area. Oh, fuck, dude. What are you doing? Oh, snowball fight. Oh, God, that sounded awful. <laughs> <laughs> Watch it! This is an important battle! I gotta keep my title Snowball Champ. Wait! I just realized, are these the people from the snow globe, but like pre- like when it just started to get cold? That'd be a weird thing to think about. But that's just a game- no, fuck, I fucked that up. That is just a theory. A game theory. I'm sorry. <laughs> I don't need any reinforce. I don't need any reinforcements, but thanks. Besides, my fort can't cover two people, so scram. Maybe go hang out with that loner Ollie over by the old billboard. Billboard? Yeah, I'm just gonna. On the outside, it might look like just a frozen wasteland, but to us, it's nothing but a big playground. A lot of the grown-ups always walk around here bitter as heck, so we try to find some fun in every everything we can to offset the mood. Oof, not f not fair, Lucas. That's all fun and games until you run out of food. Huh. Oh, dang. Are you a ghost? Hey, this is new. Someone came to visit me. That's unusual. Most people always avoid this part of town. It's just me for months. Some other guy moved in upstairs recently, but before then, this building was completely abandoned. I think there was another person that used to live here way back, but I don't know what happened to them. Anyways, you can stay here for as long as you want. The company makes things a little warmer. I don't think I have to worry about the heat. Or the cold, I should say. Excuse me, sorry to trouble you, but have you seen my dog? She left me so long ago. I don't even remember what she looks like. I've got I haven't gotten any sleep in who knows how long. She's probably so cold. I could do any I would do anything to have her back. If I could go look for her, I would, but something's keeping me here. If you see her, would you find a way to send her here? Oh, this is sad. Although she might not listen to you unless you give her her favorite shiny red ball. I lost it in the snow somewhere. Can you help me? Of course, ghost. Thank you. Uh, oh, thank you. I'll be here if you find anything. Oh my god, that's sad. There's like a dude up there. How do I get up here? Oh, I get it. Okay. Hup. Oh. Let's try that again. There we go. Oh, hi. Must focus on not freezing. They're shivering uncontrollably. You can't relax with these temperatures. Give me a hug. You the freezing fellow, warm hug. Oh, that's very kind of you. I feel warmth and returning to me. Thank you, stranger. This building we're standing on is where my family used to live before the Great Collapse. That's still sinking to this day. There may be more of us freezing folks to help out there. Um, what happened to the rest of your family? Who knew? Well, um, how do I go about? Oh, oh no, no, I don't think I can. Yeah, there's something I need to do. something with the lamps because there's hmm where did you come from 
I don't know. Yo. How's it going, dude? I'm trying to see beyond the... Hmm. Can I slip behind here? No. I assume this is the edge of the map. I'm just trying to see if I can break it. <laughs> hey. I'm trying to pry these plates off. They're pretty rusted, so it shouldn't take too much longer. Check back in a bit. I might have gotten them down by then. Okay. Let's come back here later. Oh, the red ball before I continue. Oh, hey. Is there someone trying to talk to me? No, can walk me keys. My mind busy. Sorry. Okay. I tried. Uh, looks like something a dog might enjoy. You brush off the snow and take it with you. Yeah! I had to find a dog. Oh, shit. All I did was grab the ball and he's gone. Huh. Uh. My dude? How the fuck did that happen? Hey, how's it going? I managed to tear a piece of that fence down from under the billboard earlier. We used to hear when... When we were younger that this was where some kind of expedition came through. It happened a long time ago, though, before I was born. I don't think they ever found the missing guy. Anyways, be careful. Who knows how little support is under all that untouched snow. Ooh, shit. Um... Y'all kids shouldn't be here, I don't think. It's kinda... Scoot along here. Whoop. Just kinda scoot along here. Here we go. Whoop! Well then. gonna fall when I touch it. Oh, shit. Well, it didn't matter if it did. I <laughs> oh, got damn it. go. Hold up, that doesn't seem very apocalyptic-y. What newfangled anti-gravity shit is this? <laughs> Explains how everything's able to stay up. <laughs> oh, there we go. There we go. Get a thorough look around first, though. Ooh. Oh. Oh. <laughs> Ew. Um. Oop. I don't know why I'm going in here. <laughs> There's no real reason to. Ooh, this is... This is funky. Look at that. <laughs> Ooh. Ooh. 
Nope. Go. Just kind of hug the wall. It's a new area? Hey! <gasps> Wait a minute, you're from the snow globe! Hi! You're a ghost from the snow globe! Dude! The snowman people! Oh, you scared me! You look kind of familiar! What are you doing all the way up here? Huh? I get. <laughs> I guess it's okay. What am I doing? What does it look like? I'm trying to finish this snowman! Hey, do you want to play with me? You can help me finish Mr. Snowman! Take a short break and help the child finish with her snowman? Why not? Oh, hey, wow, that's cool of you. There hasn't been anyone to play with me in a long time. Okay, so all I need is good sticky snow to make the head and a carrot for the nose. I think I saw some laying around here somewhere, but they I'll keep building the body while you look. So they are connected, question mark. There's a rolled ball of snow here. It's tightly packed and would make for a good snowman head. Take it with you? Yes. And I need a carrot. This count? There's a tiny carrot on the ground. Weird, but convenient. You take it with you. Yeah. Alright, let's build the snowman. And there! All done! Wow, you did that quick, kid. Looking pretty good with all that snow put together. What do you think? Well, thanks for helping me. I wish I could play with you a bit more, but I think I hear my mom calling me. She'll probably be mad at me for being out here while I'm still sick. Oh, you're the sick one from the first game. It's no fair. I haven't seen my friends in so long, but I think I just made a new one. Thank you. Aw, oh, she's got the cute sniffles again. Be right there, Mom. Aw. I, I got winter memories achievement. Aw. That was adorable. Look at that. a little twinkle and everything. That was neat. Okay, where to next? Can I jump on the billboard? Oh, there you go. Fuck. I didn't mean to. Damn it. Holy moly, I knew that thing was destined to collapse someday. Be glad you weren't swallowed up there. I had no idea the old pipe work was still pumping water underneath all that ice. What the? Well, never mind. Good luck getting all the way up to the chasm. I'll just, uh, be back here. Okay. That's a good point. Why Why are the pipes still going? Oh, shit. Alright, let's go in here. Check out the intended direction. Ooh. <gasps> Poppers! Hi, Bobby. Hi, though. Oh, you're cute. Oh, Bobby. There's a stray dog. It looks like it's somehow gone all the way up here, but can't get back down. It appears rather timid. You can tell it's just as surprised as you are at this encounter. What should you do? Pet the dog. You pet the dog. It is surprisingly friendly. It wags its tail with excitement. Oh, I got an achievement. Friendly encounter. The dog sits patiently. What will you do? Look for a tag. You get a closer look at the dog's collar. The tag reads Biscuit. What a cute name. What should you do with Biscuit? Bring Biscuit home. I, I, I'm afraid it might lock it out, the option. You attempt to get Biscuit to return to their original owner. She seems to have... Is, she sees you have her favorite bread ball and wags her tail excitedly. Give her the ball. She gives You give Biscuit the ball. She grabs it from you and suddenly dashes out of the cave. Where could she be going? Hopefully to the ghost. I'll head back there in a second. Look at this. <gasps> oh, no. oh, oh, that's. Ah, oh. ah, oh. <laughs> well, that's the ghost's body, I assume. Oh no, and the puppy's been here next to the body. That's why the dog didn't want to leave, because the dog's been watching the body of the ghost child. Oh. 
this is so sad. Oh my god. I didn't I didn't need this today. <laughs> I've had a long day. I don't this sad shit's getting to me, man. Oh. Oh shit. Okay, I'll bite. <gasps> Alright, just kinda there we go. <laughs> I can play games, I swear. Uh there we go. Boop. Oh, I didn't realize there was a bit of a gap there, and I'm like, oh god, I didn't jump. There we go. There we go. Oh. Oh, this was just a short. Okay. Never mind, it's not just a shortcut. I was like, oh, it's just a shortcut to get to the other side. Nope, it's a secret. There's a small obsidian monolith here. Its remarkably devoid form leaves you with a feeling of dis destitution? Will you continue to stare into the monolith? Let's stare deeper. While looking deeper into the monolith, your senses begin to go numb as your eyes roll to the back of your head. Whoa. New dream, huh? Beyond the wall. Interesting. Um. This is neat. Uh, but whose is it? I just realized we're underground in like sand. That's. That's not ideal. Sandstone is one thing. Sand. Mmm. <laughs> Damn. Okay. So it came from the ice, an ice covered apocalypse, uh, apocalypse to a desert covered apocalypse. I prefer the ice covered apocalypse, but I guess this one's technically more livable. You would have to figure out water, obviously, but. Surviving in hot climate is supposed to be easier than cold climate overall for humans. Yo! The heat's unbearable during peak daytime hours. Luckily, I managed to stay a little comfortable in the shade. At least you guys get cold at night. Stay out too long and you're either burned to a crisp or get a nice blast of that razor-sharp sand. So we're in Arizona. Oh god. I can't see. <laughs> Can we touch the cactus vine? Yeah. What's up here? Absolutely nothing. Was this garbage? What am I looking at? Nice gauntlets. The sands are shifting every day. Any more new secrets are constantly revealed. It's like the set of an anime or something. A few of us have gone on an expedition recently to uncover more of this giant sandbox. I think I may have found something up there, but I can't reach it. I've only had my strider. Strider. Like... Bird? I'm thinking, um, Nausicaa, the, the, the big chocobos. Hello. Just because it's hot doesn't mean I can't enjoy the calming allure of a nice fire. Ever since the Great Collapse uh, ages ago, listening to the crackling is one of the few pleasures I have left. Hmm. But shouldn't you save it for nighttime, though? Oh, that's a car. I'm like, am I standing on a bed? <laughs> Race car bed. Glowy. Glows. Whoa! <gasps> that guy's on a chocobo! Whoa! I have to wait for him to come back, I guess. Oh, well, that's not a climbing puzzle. I don't think I can jump that far. Do I have to get up there? To the glowy? I don't think I can. 
chicken. Chick -chick. Oh, jeez. Whoa, whoa, watch, I nearly trampled over you. You crazy? I can't talk right now. I'm scanning the dunes for a way to deactivate those weird force fields. If you want to help, go talk to Dusty down at the center of town. Gotta go. <gasps> I want a chicken. Is that why this is so, like, spread out compared to the ice place? Um... Oh, there's the force fields. Woo! Is this the center of town? Oh, jeez. Well, it is now. Geronimo. <gasps> Chickens! Can I have a chicken? Whoa, easy now. The striders spook easily. Hard enough keeping them wrangled in one uh, in one spot. These three just got back from a dune run and are pretty exhausted. Check back in a little while if you're interested in taking one out for a spin. <gasps> I am. Hi. You're a big flamingo. I'm gonna be honest, you guys are just, you know, having a much better time than the people in the ice dream. <gasps> bubby, bubby, bubby. Oh, this puppy's owner's not dead. Hmm? You look new around here. How can I tell? You don't have any sand in your ears. I'm dusty. I guess I've run this spit of a village you're standing in. Used to be pretty nice, I'll tell you. This was all a comfy little mesa up until a massive collapse a while back. Now we gotta settle into this quicksand canyon. Anyways, you look like you're an eager explorer, so I'll give you some insider news. These weird spots around the desert have started popping up, right? If you're feeling up to it, borrow one of our striders to see if you can't help with the expedition. One of our explorers made some headway recently. Check with him. Name's Scuzzy. I last saw him out standing by a little plateau. Better grab yourself a strider over there. Should help you get it up to places you can't reach on foot. Oh, so I might do, might need to do that jumping puzzle I saw. That jumping in general. Alright, can I, can I have a chicken now? Give chimkin. Heard you're adding up, I mean, out to help with the expedition. You need Strider then. Lucky for you, one of them just got feeling up to a little fresh air. Go on then, hop on and get go. Yay! Come on! The Desert Strider looks like it could go pretty fast. It reminds you of a Mufasa-sounding bird you once knew. Will you hop on, on and ride the bird? Yes. You carefully saddle yourself onto the bird. Oh my god, yes. Yes! This is cool. Ooh, shiny. I see it. Right there. Come on, Chimkin. Let's go. Woo! Hey! Whoa! <coughs> Look at you, got yourself one of our striders, I see. Nice. Poor Scuzzy left camp earlier thinking he wouldn't need one. Think he was heading for the little plateau nearby. Whee! Look at this chimkin! Oh my god, look at this! Got a car and some car and we got some geysers. I guess water's not a problem then. Nice. Yeah, you guys got everything you need, technically. I guess you need food, but surely some of these trees has food. Does the bird like to swim? Decided help with our expedition after all. I guess I should get back to checking out these ruins too. Ugh. Chimkin swim. Woo. Oh, okay, you're fine. <laughs> Maybe you're not fine. I don't think you're a good. S <laughs> That's not quite how you're supposed to swim. Okay. Riding on the bird is pretty smooth. It's pretty much the same controls, but I jump higher and run faster, so. 
Everything's pretty pretty quick to adapt. Still have like mid-air movement and stuff like that. Oh wait. Haha! -ha! I did it! I got past your force field, bitch! <laughs> oh wow, this this is a little bit super broken. Anyway. <laughs> Ooh, what? There's what looks to be an abandoned chest buried halfway in the sand. It's a little familiar. Strangely enough, the lid's not shut all the way. You might be able to lift it up if you try. Try lifting the lid? Sure. Despite the heft, you managed to lift the chest lid. An old sandy key was found inside. You're not sure what it might go to, but might as well take it with you. Nice. Hey. Is that an AC right there? No. Sleeping. Still sleeping, you guess. Treasure. Whoa. I haven't seen any mystical figures or shapes out in the dunes lately. I think my mind's been preoccupied on those ruins. Could be the heat, too. We should all just go away and things could cool down a bit, maybe one day. <laughs> hey, you guys want to switch places with some other guys occasionally? Just make it like a, like a, a monthly thing? Or weekly thing? Oh, a daily thing. Just make it like, yeah, you guys get the hot day, you guys get the cold day kind of thing. And that, that'll stop you guys from, you know, dying on either or. You guys could probably share resources to a certain extent, too. Hell, if you want to get really creative, maybe you guys can start attempting to terraform a little. Maybe invent ice boxes and then, uh, use that to keep your food and all that. That's a hole in the ground. Oh, this is where I came out of, isn't it? Yeah, I think so. Yeah. Alright, enough, enough, uh, messing around, let's see here. Hey, looks like, that looks like the Strider left back at camp. Stupid me to have come all the way out here without it. Well, you look like you're getting more out of it than me right now. You should hop up top and check this fat toe. Here we go. Command recognized, processing central column. Now active, awaiting confirmation of surrounding columns. Column activation order. Yellow, purple, blue. Closest force field will now deactivate when approached. Logging off. Yellow, purple, blue, eh? Ooh. Yellow. Nice. Command recognized, processing yellow. Yellow column is now active, awaiting confirmation of remaining columns. Columns awaiting activation, purple, blue. Closest force field now deactivate when approached, logging off. Can do. Processing purple. Purple column is now active. Awaiting confirmation of remaining columns. Columns awaiting activation. Blue. Close this force field will now deactivate when approached. Logging off. Nice. This is just enjoyable. Like, it's not even that complex a story or objectives. There's just something about riding this turkey everywhere and having fun doing it. Faster than you. <laughs> My strider's better than yours. Column recognized processing blue. Blue column is now active. 
Warning, chicken detected. All columns have been activated, awaiting final confirmation at energy source. Okay. Energy source? Yay, look at that. Whoa. Can I do it? Everyone's gathered around. I think that means I did it. Something crazy is going down. Could have seen the result. Of Could have been the result of those ruins? Did you want to drop that strider off? Nope. This guy's mine now. No? Alright, then you can keep it for a little longer if you want. This is my chicken now. So you've been busy out of the dunes. You've... You've uncovered more of those ruins than my entire village combined. Go and drop that strider off and come back and we'll talk more deeply about all this. I don't want to drop off the strider. I want to pet the puppy and, and keep the chicken. Oh, fine. Bye, guy. Bye, bye, chicken. Bye, bye, chimkin. Mwah. Mwah. Bye, bye, chimkin. All right. <gasps> puppy, puppy, puppy. I can't. I can't pet the puppy. Oh God! Could you imagine being a husky in this environment? The poor puppy. Guy, I can see you can make it back. Just before you return, the visitors of the three monoliths appeared. Just before you return, the vi visage of Wajua appeared upon the center. Wait a second. Do you feel that? It's just me, or has it been a bit of a breeze picked up out of nowhere? What is this? It's chill, I'm feeling. Sun flurry of snow started falling from the sky. Everything's changing so quickly. This all just started happening as soon as those columns were unearthed. Wow, that's fascinating, puppy. We've lived in this desert for many, many years, and during that time, we've lost so much. But we've learned to adapt to our situation. Now as we stand in this collapsed chasm, I look up at something I see as a sign for a better, more promising future. Thanks for helping us. I know you're a wanderer just like we are, so I suspect, so I expect you still have a long journey ahead of you. You're probably raring to get back to it, so we won't keep you any longer. If we ever meet again, I hope it's in a new world. Okay, so the problem with the snow is that it's not going to bring back any of the dead plants. In fact, it's just going to kill the plants who have adapted. You're going to lose all your palm trees. So, yeah, this is not going to solve anything. Even if the temperature equals out to something more livably temperate, you would at best get prairie grass. You know, you need a you need to... <laughs> I trust the text in here. You guys need more than snow to bring a desert into, you know, something more temperate. I'm, I'm just saying, if, even if your temperatures are equal, it's, you do know there's scrubland and stuff that's temperate and temperature, right? It's, uh, whatever. Got another chimkin? Even us so soon? It, that's too bad. Looks like we're gonna have to start dressing warmer. Say, why don't you take the strider for one last spin? Feel free to give her another go if you like. Yeah, boy. Come on, Chimkin. Yeah, will you hop on and ride the strider? Yeah. Chimkin time! And I got an achievement. One last ride. Come on, Chimkin. Oh, it's so snowy now. Wow, this snow collected fast. But yeah, I don't expect... It's snowing in a desert would particularly help much in terms of making it livable. If anything, it would kill what has adapted to this climate. Hmm. I don't know. There isn't really many examples of this happening in the real world, so... I don't, I don't really have anything to draw from in terms of how things would work with each other. Wow, we didn't even spend that much time here, but, you know, it was cool. Oh, I'm blind. Goodbye, Chimkin. Goodbye. 
Wait. Hold up. Hold up. Hold up. Oh no. <laughs> I, um... Don't think this helped you guys very much. Uh... <laughs> Wait a minute. Um... I, uh... Sorry about the, um... The, the, the desert, uh... Again, I don't think this would help much on the survival- uh, Yeah, now you can't fish anymore, though. Oh, no. I am so sorry, guys. Oh. I messed up. I messed up big time. <gasps> oh, it's a ghost and a puppy. Oh, does that mean the puppy died? Well, at least you guys are reunited. We waited so long for you to return. So very, very long. In the end, one world was traded for another. Oh, so I've been st gone so long the puppy probably died of old age. Oh dang, I wonder how this would have turned out if I had stayed rather than go to the dream. I wish I hadn't been so careless, so relentless in my pursuit for something better. Maybe then things would have been different. It had to be done, though. I just had to get away from it all. I didn't care what it cost. We deserved better. I know you're looking for something better, too. We're both indebted to you for our reunion. I hope we can meet again someday. Farewell. Bye! Whoa! Before I do that, I want to look around a bit. Yeah, wow, this is... Actually, way worse. Because your infrastructure got destroyed already. So you have no, no infrastructure to help against the desert. Oh, no. Yeah, I, I, this, this ending makes everything worse. I'm so sorry. Is anyone still around? Oh, this was pro- I wonder if it would have been like a really happy ending if I hadn't gone to the desert dream. Yeah, everyone's gone. Oh no. Wow. Shit. We fucked up, guys. Well, sorry everyone. I'll, um, uh, try something different when I come back through the dreams. Bye-bye. Sorry. Oh, I feel like shit. Well, um, I'm sorry to end it on such a bad note, but we do need to call it there for the episode, so. Alright, everybody. <laughs> I'm sorry, I didn't know it would be depressing if I went that route. Alright then, well, I guess I'm gonna call it there for today. Thank you guys so much for coming by. Please, join me next time. I love you. And bye bye.